The final part to the interface that I'm going to have a look at is the boxes over here and they're called the dock dockable dialogue boxes. That is a mouthful. And where you get them initially from is clicking on Windows down to dockable dialogues and there you will see them. So for the moment the layers uh, palette or box is up but say you wanted the channels and you would click on that and again you have a floating box and that's fine. Um, you may then want a colour map. You could obviously after you've finished using them click them off like that. But Another um, nice way, a neat way of having them there all together is to do this. So we'll have the channels. And it's again very similar. The hand appears like it did down on the tools option. And you click on by the channels and then you move. And this is where it takes it. Can you see the black line along it? And you click in there and what happens is you've got the channels there but then if you want the layers you click on there and let's do another one let's say gradients because I'm sure you're going to have be playing with them at some point uh, we've got the gradient box floating about so again click where the hand is pointing click and drag to, until you see the line there. Haha, <laughs> didn't work that time, did it? This is where it's fun. So, well, a bit fiddly, should I say. So, click. That's where it is. It must be underneath. Um, and so, you've got them, as I say, you've got them there. And if you want to use them, you click on it. Or if you want to get rid of them, click do that. And that concludes our tutorials on looking at the interface. Now to the fun bit. <laughs>